Well, ultimately the rider has the choice. We try to, uh, with all this work also done here, the testing, etc. Um, we try to give as much information to the riders so they can ultimately take a decision. This, I think we have enough lucidity and uh, intelligence to understand where we have to go. Um, and this is where, you know, tubeless uh, is the way forward. We raced with tubeless uh, already. We won with tubeless already. Over the 2020 and 2021 seasons, Alpinus and Rapide CLX have amassed 155 wins, including two world championships. Moving forward, we want to add tubeless, so we're going to build on that aero inertia and strength that we had on the tube type versions, but we're going to add these always on tire characteristics. So that includes grip, rolling resistance, and pinch flat protection. So what makes Road different than mountain bike tubeless? We've been doing mountain bike tubeless for years. Road has thinner sidewalls in the rim structure, but the critical thing is that it's at higher pressure. But we can't just add the tire. It's that wheel tire system that makes it work. It's the pressure and strength that we're able to put together and give to the rider that makes it a realistic combo. When we prove it out in the lab and show racers the improvements that it actually makes, it gives them the confidence and confidence racers win. The, the, the test we do here uh, gives us so much uh, information and so much uh, confidence that we have the right setup and uh, to have the engineers here to, to help us out. It's an incredible opportunity to, to be able to work with, uh, with guys like this and uh, to help us uh, perform at our best. It's amazing. We are so in the details during the development process because we've, we've seen the whole history. We, we know what's behind the scenes. And then we get to pilot production approval and we, we start to realize like these are really strong. These are really good. This is, these are the best wheels that we've ever made. And then it's confirmed when you see stages one in spring classics or the tour or world championships. It's, there's a moment of disbelief, but yeah, it's pretty great. Our new impact standard includes two different strikers. First is a sharp striker, which is meant to stress the wheel locally. So it's really point loading the wheel. At the same time, we need to make sure that the full wheel can absorb that stress too. That's where our second striker comes in. We have this more blunt striker, so it's not point loading the wheel, it's loading the whole, the whole wheel, and it's really loading the whole system. And that's where we're marrying the tire stiffness, the wheel stiffness, the spoke stiffness and lacing pattern. All of that comes together so that the wheel can absorb as much energy as possible without any damage. So it took a lot of trial and error for us to take Alpinus front and rear, repeat front, repeat rear, to get them through all of those four impact tests, pass them all, along with all of our, all the other tests that we run for all of our wheel models. It took over 50 layup iterations for each wheel model for us to get there and a whole lot of international collaboration. We were doing parallel development really in four different labs across the world. You're riding along and all of a sudden there's a massive pothole, the person in front of you didn't call it out, you're gonna be able to hit that pothole and ride through it. Each generation of Revolve road wheels has continued to get stronger. So we're now at the strongest wheels that we've ever made at super low weights and low inertias. We've added tubeless to it, making them another step faster, add hooked to it, and riders can run the pressures and tires that they want, leading to more fun Saturday rides and more wins. I know now the evolution has to go forward and will go forward, and we are working together forward to get even faster. Evolution and development, this is a never-ending story. We will never stop with this. <laughs>